What's up, everyone? This is Horizon, and today I am continuing my series on Dark Souls 3 boss fights and my first impressions of them. Today is day one of the Ring City DLC. We are in the final stretch, and I know that the second I jump off this cliff, we are going to encounter the first boss of the expansion for the DLC. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, actually wait. Here is my soul level. If you are curious, I'm 102, which I believe is the same when I beat Freed, so... Or maybe I was like 101 or something, so I haven't really leveled up much since. Yeah, let's go. The area leading up to this sucks, so I can only imagine what this boss is going to be like. Demon in pain and demon below. Love a good two boss fight. Ooh. Okay, so there's one. And there's already a lot happening. It seems like one's kind of staying far away and like shooting stuff, so maybe it's like how Freed was with Arandel being more aggressive. Oh, they're both aggressive now. Cool. I wish they shared a health bar like Freed and Ariane Delamid. Okay. I need to conserve stamina so I can make sure I actually dodge the attacks that are coming up. Is that poison? It looks like poison. Got them both down about 75%. Ooh, that buildup still keeps happening. I don't like that. Ooh, repost. One's down. Cool. Okay, so Demon and Pain's down. So he's on fire again, which I guess means he's mad and he's gonna be aggressive. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, let's be patient with this. We already got one down. I really like that can, they can be staggered when posted. Got a strong feeling that's not it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be tricked again. Okay, we got the Demon Prince now. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, so I should probably sidestep when he does that. Okay, I'm gonna try and go the Demon of Hatred route and just be super aggressive. Is there a way to dodge that? Maybe not. Maybe I just have to be up close. Alright, I'm gonna try and stay fairly indeed. Because I feel like we haven't seen all of his moves yet, so I'm assuming that he's gonna have some pretty strong ones. But so far, most of the things so far have been decently telegraphed. Up. 
Okay, so he can be staggered too. That's nice. I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and pop an ember. I do not... Like, I can't believe we didn't die there. We were so low. Some damage in. Heal back up. Ooh. Okay, so he can turn around and finish that combo. <laughs> Need to try and remember. That. Oh, I think that's when he's throwing that fireball. Just be patient. Stun some fireballs. Okay, let's heal up again. Is he gonna turn around? He's pretty low. Can we get him? Okay, so we got the soul. I think that's done. Okay. So we got really lucky there, I think. Um, that was Demon Prince. That took us one attempt. And I'm going to base a lot of that on luck and just a lot of dodge practice. So my overall impressions of that fight were... The... And I, I know I missed a lot because I didn't get repeated attempts to try and pick things up. But the first attempt, it seemed like at times one demon was more aggressive and, and trying to jump on top of you while the other one kind of stood back and spit like toxic attacks at you or poison attacks. Um, sometimes they were both aggressive. I think if I remember right... If they were staying back a little further, they weren't like burning or on fire. And then when they caught on fire, they were more aggressive. So maybe balancing trying to wear one of them down or take out the most aggressive one first. Because I, I don't know if one of the demons is more aggressive than the other, but overall it was fairly manageable. I think that the second phase was definitely a lot more to take on because even though the the moveset was generally the same as the demons from phase one there were a lot more range attack that laser was pretty rough the the combo where it would do the scratches and kind of crawl across the arena there were a couple times where it would get past me i think it was done and then it would just whip right around and scratch me and do a pretty hefty chunk of damage i honestly should have died at this at, at one point um i don't know when exactly but there was a point where my health bar looked completely empty it was right before i popped the ember so if you didn't catch it while it was happening go back to that point in the video you'll see that like there was a second i thought i was dead but i was still moving and there's been times before where i thought i was dead i wasn't and then i let my guard down and die anyway so i popped an ember luckily i got it off in time but it came down to a lot of patience trying to really read the attacks because the majority of them were pretty well telegraphed um maybe fire resistance gear would be good if you're struggling with this because especially in phase two the attacks even when i was blocking with a shield since it had fire damage it would still kind of chip away so that would be a, a big tip for me on this fight but it was cool i like the the mechanic of fighting well i don't like the mechanic to fighting two things at once but i like that it was two more manageable enemies uh not something where in, in sekiro for those of you that have played it the the headless ape and then the the second ape that comes in um was very very not fun but it was two two more manageable foes and then when you drop both of them it turns into 
a, a super version of it. So in theory, I, I really like how fights like that work. But that was my introduction to the Ring City DLC. Let me know down in the comments how the fight went for you. If you also got lucky like I did and managed to one shot it or if there were certain parts of it that you struggled with. I'm very, very curious to see how it went for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already because I am going to be doing these weekly. I know I am getting towards the end of Dark Souls 3, but I am going to still be continuing different series with the, the FromSoft game catalog. So if you enjoy those games like I do, there will be more content like that coming. But again, I'm Horizon. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one.